Hi, Stuart J. Raj here, and um, this is a really exciting week for me. I've, um, after 16 years, next week, if all things go well, my um, the hard copy of my Cracking Tie Fundamentals book will be published on Amazon. Now, I'm using this uh, uh, Create Space, which is a fantastic service by Amazon, and they have everything you need to put and self-publish and order the books and have it. You've got the ISBN, everything there ready. Now, they're having some issues because I've got over 100 different language fonts in there. But there's some other stuff that I've realized. It's one thing to write the book, but it's another thing to do all the marketing and to get all the imaging and everything you need to do. People have been asking to pre-order the book. So rather than collecting all of those emails and being afraid that I'm going to miss some people later on, I'm setting up a site so I can take in pre-orders. To do that, I wanted to create some imagery. Now, you often see these 3D images of books. Now, how do I turn this cover here into a 3D image? And I'll show you a sample. So um, what we're going to do here is how in this um, lesson is how do we turn a two-dimensional book cover like this, and I'll just turn the guides off on, on uh, a Mac. If you're using Photoshop, it's command semicolon. So how do I turn a flat 2D cover into a 3D cover like this? Now you might have great Photoshop skills and you can go in and start doing warps and everything, but that's not necessary. All you have to do to turn this 2D um, book image cover into a 3D book is go to um, a fantastic website called PSD Covers. Now in this PSD Covers here, um, they have everything that you could imagine um, that you might want to do a mock-up of. A product, you've got CD covers, you've got t-shirts, you name it. Um, so here you can see some of them in here, You even cans or iPad screens. Now I've browsed through and I found this copy of a book this book is softcover005. The um, URL is psdcovers.com slash softcover005. You click download action, boom, and when that downloads, um, you can see it. Let me open it in the finder in here, PSD covers. And so this as a PSD cover, .atn, that actually opens, that's an action script for Photoshop. So you might not know this, but Photoshop has a script that can be written to automate processes. So let's come back here. Um, I'm going to close this book for a moment because we're going to make a new one. So what I want to do is double click on that script. So here's my PSD cover script. Just double click on it. Doo -doo. Now I've double clicked it and you might not think anything's happened. See this actions button. Now, if you don't have actions there, you want to go up to um, window actions or the shortcut is uh, where are we option function f9 if i'm not mistaken yep there we are now have a look here now i've clicked it twice so you can see it there too but i've got psd covers there step one step two so all we have to do is go to step one and hit play or you can double click on it watch what happens It's created a new image, so it's not in the old image that you had. It's doing all the highlights, everything you need, and bang, it's all there. Now, I've made some mistakes in the past doing this. You can see these instructions there. I don't need those instructions because we're going to be doing it here. So I'm just going to delete the, the, those words and things on there. So get rid of those words, get rid of that word, get rid of that word, and get rid of that. Okay, so what I want to do is cut this section off of my 2D image, which would be this front section of my book. Okay, and I'll paste it here. And then in this light gray section, I want to cut the spine section. So, and, and these two, even though it's 2D, these are where the pages are going to be in their image. So what I'll do, I'll turn on my guides. I've prepared my guides from the template that I created this book cover on from the uh, Amazon's Create Space book cover templates. So all I need to do is, uh, hit command semicolon they're my guides and my basically I'm going to be dragging this section here so I hit the marquee tool that's the little one that looks like dotted a dotted box I'm gonna start at the top here drag all the way down to the bottom 
bang, easy. Now, if I just hit con uh, Command C for copy, it's going to copy all those layers. I don't want that. I want to do a merge copy. So you see that copy merged. The shortcut that I like to use is Command Shift Copy, Command Shift C. So here we go, Command Shift C, bang, jump over to here, and then the usual paste is Command V. Now, I'm going to come up here, get to the very top corner of that section, and just grab the corner with the mouse and drag it all the way to the bottom until it locks into place. When it locks into place, hit return or enter. Easy, right? Now let's do the same with the spine. So I'll hit command D to deselect. I'll come up, my, so my spine is from here to here and all the way down. So let's hit on the marquee tool again and drag from there on the spine now. You see how, because of those guides there, it's locked into those, so I'm just going to hit space while I've got my finger on the mouse, bang, and that has saved that. I don't have to re-drag it, and let's just drag it down to the bottom. Okay, so that's my spine, release, and the same, command, shift, C for a merge copy. And let's paste that in there, so command V. You can see my spine there, change this to the selection tool, Drop, the, drag that to the top, Drag this corner down to the bottom corner. Hit enter or return. Make sure it's the same height. Okay, done. So that looks pretty plain, but this is where the magic happens. You go back to this actions button or the shortcut again is option function nine. Uh, so option function and then F9. There we are. Now we're up to step two. So just hit play and watch the process happen. You ready? Here we go. Ta-da! And there is your finished book. Now, if you want to get that on a transparency, you just pull, you can come down here and take that background out and save. So first of all, I'm going to save as, and I'll call this CTF, Cracking Type Fundamentals 3D Book Cover. And I'll just call this two because I've already saved one. So 3D Book Cover two. And I'll save that. And so that's just saving my PSD and um, that'll take a bit. And then you can, if you want it on a transparency for a website or something, you would save it as a PNG because PNG allows you to save your transparency. So save as PNG um, and I'm going to keep the same number, cover two, bang. So yes, click OK and there it's done. I have turned this 2D model or this 2D book cover into fantastic looking 3D book with all lights and um, angles and shadows and transparency ready to go on that um, pre-order book page that you're making for your book.